Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 1.9. So last time we were doing uh, some external decorating. Um, we did a deck, we did a flower pot thing outside of our window. Um, we didn't really do much actually, su like surprisingly. Uh, we attempted some uh, topiary here, uh, that was my chicken. I also tried a cow afterwards but that didn't turn out so well. Um, what I did do well though is after the episode I went out to a flower field by my place and I gathered tons and tons of flowers um, and then flattened out the land around our house so check out our external yeah unfortunately I still need to go collect more flowers I thought that would have been enough so I put tons of different types of flowers all the way around flattened everything out uh, put uh, made some more pathway connecting and uh, highlighted out an area for our farm which I just realized doesn't have any torches there so I hope uh, it doesn't get to nighttime and I made a little pen um, for our future animals that will that will all cover all that in the farming episode but for now this one is internal decorating so I brought over some um, a little bit of ingredients from my other um, house I brought a little bit of leather and some wool, and then uh, some seeds for the farming episode. Um, <laughs> I Oh, uh, I also added fence posts on the tops of the wood, um, hoping that, like, you know, spiders and stuff wouldn't climb over. Unfortunately, one spawned in my yard and climbed up and right over. So, we're going to need to do a mob-proofing episode one time. Uh, for now... Let's get into internal decorating. All right. So, uh, oh, I. By the way, I fixed the door thing. So if you put it on this space and close it, it looks like that. But essentially, this these are open doors. Uh, and the zombies won't um, break them down. Anywho, let's get on to business over here. So, I put all of uh, my stuff, if you noticed I moved the chest and stuff, I put them just threw them all into two different chests. So let's just throw everything back in there. What we're gonna need is we're gonna need to cook up some of this iron. Um, I went mining uh, I don't know if I covered that last um, last time or not, but I did some mining and I dug up a bunch of iron and coal. We also have our bricks now, which I forget what we were going to use those for, and uh, I collected a bit more wood. Um, let's just grab that stuff. What else do we think we need? Maybe a shovel. Maybe the pickaxe and the axe, I guess. Yeah, and then torch, torches, torche, and these bad boys. Okay, so let's get to work. So I think we're gonna go with a more mm, kind of log cabiny house kind of chill feel. So up here, I'm thinking definitely bedroom. Um, if we we go we can actually let's do that right now let's make our bed and then I'm thinking over here in this part can be the kitchen area and then a little living room here now again this is a very small house so you can't do very much but you know we'll cover it so let's put a crafting table here Let's put this here. Let's also make some more um, furnaces. Maybe we can get like a giant forge going. Ooh, like an underground forge room. That would be cool. I'll, I'll make that a later episode maybe. So let's start with that. I'm thinking something like that for our uh, counters and then a fridge right here uh, where did the wool
Yeah. Um, how do you make buttons? I forget. I think, ah, uh, that's probably, probably have to cook some stuff in there. Let's actually, let's start, let's start with the cooking right now. Uh, we're going to need some signs, so let's make some of those. Let's get some sticks. Actually, we're probably going to need a few more sticks for later on. A cool thing you can do is if you put sticks in a circle and place a wool inside, you actually get a painting. So let's hang up our beautiful painting on our wall, maybe above the window here. Oh, look at that. Self-portrait of me in a Night's Watch outfit. That's, uh, that's back in my ranger days when I was off protecting the wall from white walkers. Uh, we should have good four. What I'm going to make is, nope. Nope. There it is. <laughs> a button. And I'm going to put that on the bottom of the fridge. A cool thing that you can do um, if we have. We have a bow. No, we don't. And we don't have enough string. Hold on. Nope. You can't reverse that. Okay. What is cool, what's a cool, good idea, is when making your internal decorating of your house for your kitchen, if you break um, this block and this block underneath here, and you place a dispenser in there, then even if you cover up this block, when you click that button, it'll activate the dispenser, and the dispenser can shoot you out, and uh, because it has nowhere to go, it'll shoot and pop up right in front of you and you'll have apples and stuff. It's a neat little trick. I might uh, get a bow later on and hook that in. For now though, we're going to need some signs. So I think I made some signs last time as well. I don't know what I did with those. Are they any? Oh, only one left. Oh right, I used it for the uh, bench outside. So if we just put some signs around like this. Uh, we're gonna need another one. Do, do, do. Again, this is all uh, basic um, design work here. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let's get some more regular stone cooking. Because I have an idea. Let's make some stone pressure plates and put some stone pressure plates on the top as a counter. And I think we're going to need something up here to catch the fumes from our range over here. So let's think of something that we can use. I'm thinking trapdoor. Uh, I don't know where the trapdoors are. I guess I don't use them all. So let's put those right here. Ba boom. Okay, now, uh, while we're waiting for the kitchen tabletops to cook, I think I'm going to start on the couch area, I guess. So we're going to use the same kind of bench style as out here, um, except this time we could make it wood, I guess. Um, but I think I think I kind of want a stone couch. I think a stone couch might be good. Um, I like a hard, I like a hard chair when I'm chilling down. So let's do maybe three. Ooh, ooh, wait. You know what I could do? I could make like an L shaped couch. Ooh, actually, oh, hold on, hold on. I got a good, I got a good idea. We can make it. Yes, an L-shaped couch. And then we can put our little stand right here. Um, what are we going to use for the TV? Because we obviously want a TV. We got to play our 
PS2 and a GameCube and stuff on it, you know? Um, maybe, uh, uh, fence post, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. I think we'll also probably want another painting. Because we're going to want to watch something for watching TV. Then we can use wool as the TV stand. It's like a big screen over here. And let's hope that we, nope. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll just, you know, I'll just change it up a bit. <laughs> it's cool. I can make it work. I'll just shorten this. Sometimes you gotta change up your original design depending on what kind of shows up and whatnot. Um, and then here, I think, is where we'll have uh, downstairs. We'll figure out something for this when we decide to do the um, underground thing. So let's finish up making some of these. Let's do four more of these. Oh. Whoops. Do, 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 boom, 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 boom. There we go, so nice countertops and everything. We'll put a dispenser in there. Next up is our bed. So we're gonna wanna put wool across. And you know what, let's, let's make a double bed. Cause I might get some lady friends over. My house is real pimping, so. Um, I'm thinking we placed it right here and there. There we go. A nice little double bed. There is a cool um, thing that you can do. Uh, where's my craft? Got to go back to the crafting table here. If you make some slabs, you can actually make a sleeping bag. So if I go and use this area here, since there's nothing going on here, and I put my bed down, and then I cover everything in slabs, it looks like it's a little sleeping bed, a uh, sleeping bag. So that's always a neat little trick that you might want to do, depending on the style of your home and the style of furniture you like. Okay, well, but I personally like having the double big bed over here. Um, okay, I think I think we're pretty much good for internal decorating. Uh, we have a small little quaint home, so it's not it's not much to go on. Uh, you can do larger bed spreads and things, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of keep it simple. I think a little TV is pretty good, and our kitchen's fabulous. And take shit out. Now, mm, no, no, no. I'll save the iron. I was gonna make some iron blocks. Maybe I got do a um, uh, not a furnace. I don't know. Anvil. That's it. And with the anvil, uh, we can add it into our smithery underground. So, I look forward to doing that. Uh, for now though, this was internal decorating and I think I hear a spider somewhere. So spiders can obviously get through. We will do the mob proofing and we'll also do a farming video next. Um, not that exciting, but you know, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.